Getting details about right now is that a helicopter carrying Iranian president has gone untraceable. This helicopter is said to have made a hard landing and rescuers are yet to locate Iranian president's helicopter. He was also accompanied by one of his ministers and uh, the rescue operations are being hampered by poor weather. Rishabh, what more can you tell us? So, Priya, what we are learning right now that uh, the helicopter that was supposedly carrying the president of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, along with his foreign minister and other senior officials, have uh, been reported to have met with an incident. Uh, as of now, it is not clear what exactly the incident was. Was it only hard landing or was it a crash? Because very conflicting reports are coming in from Iran. As of now, it's been more than four hours since the reports of uh, this hard landing has come in. The rescue operations are on in the northwestern uh, province of Tarbiz. Uh, the vice president, the first vice president of Iran has also reached Tarbiz. He is o o overlooking the whole uh, rescue operations. But as of now, no statement has come in that gives us a concrete uh, situation. As of now, there are a lot of uh, conflicting reports that are coming. The official Instagram page of President Raisi says that pray for the leader, which means that they are also not very clearly stating what the condition of the president is. It's been more than four hours, and with every passing uh, moment, the concerns over the whereabouts of the president is uh, uh, rising. As of now, the official uh, statement that has come in from Iranian uh, interior minister suggests that there have been some contact with the companions of President Raisi, but he also failed to give a concrete uh, detail of where, where prime, uh, the president is and what his conditions are. So we'll have to wait for that. But for now, all eyes on the rescue operations, at least 16 teams, which includes drones, dogs, uh, mountaineers, as well as officials, are on ground uh, given the uh, weather uh, conditions, given the heavy fog in the area. It is time consuming, but we'll have to wait to understand what unfolded and how things unfolded there. All right, multiple rescue teams are said to have reached the site where the chopper is said to have made a hard landing. That is the detail the Times now has managed to confirm. So far, there are no further details of injuries to the passengers on board, including Iranian president and his minister. That's all we could pack for you in this special edition of News Hour. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.